Hello everybody, this is part 2 of modeling a conceptual hair dryer. Okay, now what I want to do is to cover up these openings using the surface from planner curves command. And then join all these surfaces into a solid. Okay. Okay, what I want to do is to create the detail over here which is an air intake. Okay, I'm going to draw a line. And use it as a cutting tool. Okay, what I did was I extruded the line and then I will use the plane that has been created to cut this main body, okay? Using the boolean split, okay? So select object to split, cutting object, okay? Yeah, so we are done the split, I don't need this anymore. Let's hide this. Okay, I think I will hide the other stuff as well so that we can focus on working on this area okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a straight line here made of degree 3 so that I'm able to get 4 control points so I will use the interpolate point curve to create that Okay, let's turn the points on. Okay, selecting these two points, I'm going to drag it out. I'm going to drag them out to create this kind of a profile. Okay, next, what I'm going to do is to cut this into half and then remove this portion and I can do so by drawing a line at the middle section of this curve and using it as a cutting object for trim okay so select cutting object object to trim is this okay so I got this curve and then I will want to use it to create a surface here using the revolve command okay curve to revolve start axis and axis Start angle 0, revolution angle 360. Okay, so we got some kind of uh, surface. Okay, that is um, dome shape slightly. Okay, I don't need this anymore. Okay, now what I want to do is to create the curves that will form the mesh net at the back. Okay. So I'm going to use the uh, circle center radius, draw one circle here, and repeat the command again, draw a bigger one. Be somewhere around here. Okay. And let's uh, create the in-between curves. To do that, we can use the twin curve command. Okay, so select the start and the end curve and the number of twin that you want to do. So uh, in this case, I want to set it to three. Okay, enter, enter. Yeah, so I got this. Okay, and they are placed at the construction plane over here. So now what I'll do is I want to select all of them and project them onto this. Uh, 
surface okay so click on the project make sure that you are projecting it in the correct view in our case is the right view okay and then select the correct surface press enter yeah so you can see the curves has been projected over here okay now I don't think I need this for the moment let's hide it and then um, let's do a shell okay of this piece Okay, the thickness I set is 2, okay? And then, um, now what I'm going to do is, let's hide this first. Okay, array all this, this curve here, okay? So clicking on the array, select object to array, center, okay, this is a polar array, so you need to find a center, and then the number of item I want is 6, okay, so press enter, the angle to fill is 360, enter, okay, so we got this kind of curves. Now we need to join the curves, okay, so I'm going to join this to this. I'm going to join this to this. I'm going to join this to this. Okay. So we got something like that. Okay. Okay. The next thing we need to do is to create some kind of a piping detail from all this curve. Okay. We can do so by using the the pipe command okay so i can click the pipe and i'm going to pipe this stuff first okay the straight the curves first okay and the radius i want to set it to uh, 1.2 okay and let's repeat the process for this and this okay and I would like to union them, okay? So I'm going to Boolean union, union them, select this, this, and this, enter. Yep, got something like that, okay? And now let's proceed to create uh, the pipe for these curves, okay? And let's go to the pipe command again. This time around, let's set the radius to 1, okay? Let's repeat the process. Okay, got all this stuff and now I'm going to union all this, okay? So clicking on the union, select this, 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 this. Hopefully it works. Enter. Okay, it worked. That's great. Okay, now what I'll do is I want to move this inward. Okay, and then over here the detail is a bit too too sharp, so I need to um, Cut away this this part here, okay? Okay, let's uh duplicate this edge and this edge, okay? And then use it as a cutting object okay, let's scale this up a bit see and then let's extrude this okay 
I think I want to hide the curse for the moment. Put that onto the curse layer. Oops, I got to join this and this, okay? And let's uh, bring this down. Okay, let's do a boolean split. I don't need this for the moment or rather let's just shift it aside first you might need it okay and then remove away this portion okay and um, See whether this is good enough. Maybe I can bring this down a little bit. Okay, I think something like that. Let me hide this. Okay. So let's um union all this. So select this and this. Okay, so now they are union into one uh, part. Okay. Let's bring back the other portions. Okay, now what I want to do is to shell this part here. Okay, shell this part, and let's click the shell command. So, uh, let's set the thickness to two. So I click here, and okay, I actually need to shell the the the. the uh, let's escape first. Okay, so let me just hide this for the moment. So I want to shell this object, and if this part open and this part open as well so click the shell and the thickness is set to 2 so I click here and here and enter okay we got something like that and now uh, let me just uh, bring, bring back uh, the stuff okay so we got like this kind of details Okay, with that I come to the end of this part there will be subsequent videos to this series of demo okay see you bye